So long as you're starting with high quality beef, cooking a good steak is as easy as throwing it on the grill or searing it in a hot skillet. But if you want perfect steak, and I'm talking steak with a rich, brown, crackling crust and a medium rare core that extends all the way from edge to edge, then you need to take your technique to the next level. Now, traditional methods like broiling, grilling, or searing in a skillet leave you with one problem. Your steak develops a temperature gradient inside it. So while the very center of the meat might be a perfect medium rare, as you move towards the outer layers, it becomes more and more cooked until you reach the edges, which have the dry, chewy texture of well-done meat. So the question is, how do you minimize this overcooking? So here's the thing, the more gently you cook your food, the smaller that temperature gradient inside is gonna be. So for instance, if you cook a steak in a 500 degree oven, you're gonna develop a pretty thick band of gray meat inside. Cook that same steak in a 250 degree oven, and that gray band shrinks significantly. Now you may have heard of a concept called sous vide cooking, and the idea here is to take that low temperature cooking to the extreme. With sous vide cooking, you place your steak inside a sealed plastic bag and then put that plastic bag in a water bath held at the exact temperature that you want to serve your steak at, say 130 degrees for medium rare. About 45 minutes later, you take your steak out of that bag and it's perfectly evenly cooked from edge to edge with no temperature gradient and no danger of overcooking. The problem is that sous vide equipment is really expensive, but there's an alternative a regular old $30 beer cooler. Even though a cooler is designed to keep cool things cool, it's equally good at keeping hot things hot. So all you've got to do is fill it up with hot water, adjust the temperature with boiling water or cold water, and then place your bag meat inside it to cook. So long as you start a few degrees higher in order to compensate for the heat loss when you add your meat, it should be able to maintain its temperature for the 45 minutes required to cook most steaks, pork chops, lamb chops, chicken, or fish. You can cook your meat either in a cryovac style bag or in a regular heavy duty zipper lock bag. In order to get the air out of a zipper lock bag, put your meat inside it, zip it up most of the way, and then slowly lower it into the water, sealing it just as the air is forced out. You've probably noticed one glaring problem. Your steak develops no crust or color. You're gonna have to add this after it comes out of the cooler. Now you can do this on a grill if you wanna cook outside, but my personal favorite way is to finish it in a cast iron skillet. Just heat up some oil over the highest possible heat while you carefully dry the outside of the steak in order to help it brown faster. Season the steak generously with salt and pepper, and once the oil starts smoking, add the steak to the pan along with a couple of pats of butter. Cook the steak just until it's browned on both sides, about a minute or two, and then to finish it off, hold it up vertically with tongs in order to get the edges. The beauty of this method is total flexibility in terms of timing. Once your steak comes up to temperature inside the cooler, you can let it sit there for up to a few hours longer without worrying that it's gonna overcook. Your steak is gonna be hot and ready to sear as soon as you're ready to eat. You wanna up your game even further? Then get yourself one of these guys. By combining the intense heat of a propane torch with a cast iron skillet, you can get a steakhouse quality char in a matter of moments. Just make sure that you shut off your smoke detectors first. It may take a little bit more time, but if you're willing to put in the effort, this is the best quality steak you can get at home.